Hello everybody, this is Ganon from The Wolf. Now this is my first video, so I hope you do enjoy it. But if you do enjoy it, please make sure to like and subscribe. It would really help me a lot and it only takes a few seconds out of your day. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Virtual Machine Manager on your Chromebook and run virtual machines with it. So what you want to do first, if you don't have it enabled already, go to your settings. Go all the way down to About Chrome OS, Linux Development Environment. So if you do not have this enabled, there should be a turn on button right here. It'll like have you adjust the disk size. Oh my god. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> oh my god. Have you adjust the disk size <laughs> right here? Oh my god. And um, as you can see for me, it goes up to 33.1 because that's the only available storage, but it'll have you restart your Chromebook and you should be good from there. So what you want to do now is you can go to your launcher and scroll to the all the way bottom where it says terminal. And if you are brand new to Linux and have not used the terminal yet, it will show up as like to add a user. All you have to do is click penguin right here like this and this is what it should look like and whenever you click that to set it up just type in your username and you'll see my username is ganon c115 at penguin and there you go so now what you want to do first is you're going to type in sudo apt caps lock what apt update like this, press enter. I already have everything updated, so nothing needs to be updated, as you can see. Um, the the W, the orange W, that stands for warning. You should not be um, scared by this. It's just something that is not really that weird. It's normal, so if you see it, don't panic. Um, next, what you wanna do, with some versions, you can also type in sudo at upgrade and it'll also do the same things as you can see but what you want to do now is you can go into your chrome flags by typing in chrome flags like this press enter now what you want to do is you're going to type in hashtag Enable, nope, not enable, cross Dini. Dash GPU dash support. And you wanna enable this. And what it does is it lets, if you have a graphics card in your Chrome OS device, it will let this enable it so that things can go a lot less laggier. Now what you wanna do is in some versions, not mine because I'm on the beta channel, Hashtag enable dash experimental dash kernel dash VM dash support and enable that. I know it says no matching experiments. That's because I'm on 125, as you can see right there. Now, what you want to do right now, you can close out of both flags and your Chrome browser. And you're going to type in sudo apt install. And this is really hard to type in, so pay attention. Q-E-M-U dash K-V-M, just like that. L-I-B-V-I-R-T dash clients. L-I-B-V-I-R-T or libvirt. Daemon, D-A-E-M-O-N, dash system, space bridge, dash utils, yes, utils, not utilities, and then vertinst, V-I-R-T-I-N-S-T, and then libvert, dash daemon, vert, and yes, there is a space between daemon and vert. Vert dash manager. 
dash y space between the manager and the dash enter it'll say all of that is already in the newest version that's because i already have it installed but if you have not had it installed yet then it will probably take about 15 minutes that's how long it took for me that is completely normal and then after that you will restart your chromebook and you will have the app there now what you're gonna do is type in sudo add user no space and then a space and then let's just say my username and then you're going to type in libvirt like again and it'll say i'm already a member that's because i've already done this now what you want to do is you are going to type or not type um you are going to go to your linux apps folder and if you scroll all the way down you should be able to see virtual machine manager right here click on that now a lot of tutorials and stuff do not mention this step but it is absolutely needed if you want to be able to run virtual machines so you want to do file add connection hypervisor qemu-kvm user session and then connect now i already have it connected so nothing's going to show up but what you want to do is um, right click the regular QEM UKVM that does not say user session, right click that, and you can click the delete right there. It's grayed out for me since it's the only one. But now what you want to do is you can go ahead and you can go into your files and find the ISO that you downloaded from the provider. So like, let's just say Windows 7 Ultimate. So you can either right click and then click copy or control C. And I already have it pasted. So you can just control V or right click and then click paste just like that. And now we can go back into our virtual manager, uh, click this little sparking monitor thing, click local install media. If it isn't already highlighted, click forward, and then you're going to click browse, browse local, and then find whatever you paste it into the Linux files folder in your Chrome OS apps in your Chrome OS files app. So I just pasted it in Windows 7 Ultimate. So I'm going to click open. It should automatically detect from what it is called. I think maybe it's in the code. I don't know. But if it doesn't, just uncheck this box and then type in what the OS that you are trying to launch is. Click forward. Sorry, that went forward twice. You can adjust the amount of CPUs you have. I only have two on my Chromebook, but you may have more. Same with memory and you can create a disk image, an online disk image partition that can be as much as you want. Like I can do up to a terabyte, up to a terabyte, literally. But so forward and you can rename it. Just like that and then finish. We cannot change a space character, underscore. I did not know about that. I'm very sorry about that. And there you go. And now, whenever you click this, boom, Windows is loading files just like that. And in a second, there you go, starting Windows, and you should see the original Windows 7 loading in screen. So yeah, that is how you do it. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like and a subscribe as it would help me out a lot. I'm just starting this channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you in the next one. And it just crashed. Okay.